Now, while you are watching this video, your visitors are bouncing because your website is slow and takes more than three seconds to load. And yes, that's losing you money. It is not a joke. But today, we are going to fix that. I will show you exactly how to make your website load in a fraction of a second without changing to expensive hosting or installing expensive plugins. And of course, not the boring tips everyone tells like optimize your images, use CDN, and so on. That's fine, but today in this video, I want to show you three tactics that will take your website from this to this. And the craziest part, I don't know why tactic number three is something 99% of users never think about or maybe never heard of. And even though I'm going to show you practically step by step how to implement these three tactics on WordPress, these tactics apply on any website. Understand them once, apply them everywhere, and enjoy super fast websites. If you are ready, let's get started. Okay, so here I have a new WordPress website. I'll be using it to show you practically step by step how to implement these three tactics. Let's start with number one, the memory hack. Now, every website usually have a database and it's constantly hitting it to query information, read data, write data, and so on. Almost every single page load function request may have a database hit. Now imagine this scenario, you are calling a friend 100 times every single day to ask the same question and get the same answer. Or you can call him once and for the rest 99 requests, you can just remember it without calling. This is where Redis object caching can solve this problem. Your website will need to hit the database, like calling your friend for every single request for the same information. So we are going to attach a memory for our website, which is Redis in memory cache. It's like giving your website a photographic memory. Super fast one that will help the website remember information without hitting and calling the database every single time. This is a game changer for any website. So let's see how we can implement this on our WordPress website. Again, the same concept applies to any website, but in our demo, we are going to do this on WordPress. So we need a Redis caching memory system, the photographic memory, to attach to our website. You have here mainly three options. You can go with Redis Cloud and you can start totally for free. If you go to the pricing section here, you will see we have this essentials plan starting from $0 per hour. You can use this one or we have another service, popular service called Upstash, where you can also start totally for free with Redis. In pricing, we have $0. You can start with this one. Or you can do what I do, which is self-host my own Redis instance. You can see here my Coolify server, where I run all my websites, all my APIs, all my services, all my databases. I save around $700 every month with this setup. You can see here we have Redis. And this is my Redis database running inside my own server so what you need here is the redis public url whether you are in the redis cloud or upstash or your own redis server you will have the connection string so let's go back to wordpress go here to plugins add a new plugin and search for redis and we have this free simple lightweight plugin redis object cache install it activate it and now you can see we need to connect to Redis server. To connect, we need to add the connection string to the WP config of WordPress. So if you go here to my website, to resources, to blog, you will see here I have a full tutorial on connecting Redis with WordPress. What we need here is simply this snippet here. I will copy it and go back to my website, again to plugins, add a new plugin, and I will install file manager so it's somehow simple to edit the config file, install it, activate, and now simply go to file manager here. And we have the WP config file, edit. Please focus very well. We will go down here and you'll see this line, this comment. That's all. Stop editing. You will need to add the Redis configuration here. Just add them here. You can get the server host, the port, 
and the password and you can add the prefix if you want for example in my case i will use e x p web anything it's a unique prefix if you have multiple websites running on the same Redis server you can use a unique prefix so i will replace this with my Redis configuration my password the port and my server ip just save and close and now if we go back here to settings redis you will see now it says reachable so we connected the website with redis memory cache and now simply click on enable object cache and boom we are ready we are connected and in a few seconds you will see the metrics here what's going on how many bytes and calls is hitting the redis cache and this is really super important if you are building SaaS and micro SaaS and tools on top of wordpress like i do with tube digest and promoter kit or even your own SaaS with next.js any technology any website like for example power kit in my case this is crucial to save a lot of calls to your database and make your tools and website way faster now let's move to tactic number two this one is somehow simple and maybe you already know it unlike number three which i don't know why majority of users don't even think about it let's now do number two which is simple then move to number three go here again to plugins add a new plugin and we are going to install a caching plugin one of the best and simple and free is wp fast search for cache and you'll see this one with a cheetah wp fastest cache i use it it's great install it activate and now simply go here to the wp fastest cache enable the system cache and what i do in my case is i prevent cache for logged in users and for mobile devices on desktop and simply enable browser caching and gzip and that's enough you can also minify css and html and javascript but i notice in some cases it may break your style or break your logic so in my case i don't check this but you can test if you want and then simply click on submit so that's it it's that simple we now have browser caching we have redis in memory cache and now we are ready to move to tactic number three i call this the traffic splitting trick let me explain with an example go back to my website this blog post you see we have the text and we have images so we have media maybe we have videos loaded or maybe if you go to any landing page especially if you have a product landing page you are selling let's open this one for example wordpress SaaS. you will see here we have an image we have images of people you can go down we have emojis we have a lot of mixed content so the idea here is every web page has the html content or the text content and we have media content like images videos or any files that you are going to load to usually these media files are larger than text files and may cause the page to load slowly and more importantly it will cause more bandwidth more traffic and more pressure on your website so what we are going to do simply is split the traffic we will load the website page from the website and load all the media files from an external storage we call it an s3 storage let's go back here to our wordpress website go here to plugins add a plugin and simply go here and search for wp offload offload means to offload your media files to an external storage so you can keep your website light and fast in my case i'm using this one which is free and works with many providers as you will see right now activate it and let's click on media offloader and you will see here we have the cloud provider so we are going to move our media files to an external cloud provider if you open the box here we see amazon s3 digital ocean cloudflare wasabi so like in redis you have the option to go for example with wasabi which i use sometimes just search for wasabi and open it this one you can try it for free or maybe you can go with digital ocean spaces this one here or we have a cloudflare we have many options for s3 storage now in my case again what i use is my own free storage it's called minio or min io 
Again, if you go back to my hosting server, you will see here I have Minio S3 storage running. This is why this setup saves me a lot every month. More than $700 when I run my APIs, my services, my databases, more than 50 servers is running on one server. If I want to run these services on other hosting companies, I would pay at least, at least like two, three thousand dollars every month. Currently, I'm paying only $120 for my setup. Anyway, so I have Minio here up and running, which is a free open source storage provider you can install on your own server. And again, what you will need if you go back here, you will need to define this inside your WP config, which we did before with Redis. So again, WP file manager, WP config, it's somehow simple. Edit, go down here, Redis configuration, and we can add the menu configuration here. Now, just a small tip. If you don't want directly edit the WP config file, we can do something different. Let me show you how. Go to plugins again, add a plugin and go here and search for snippets this simple free code snippets plugin install it this is my secret plugin where it helped me start the idea of building SaaS on wordpress anyway so now go to snippets here add a new snippets and then simply paste let's name it anything minio setup for example and you can simply paste this code to define the keys here inside this snippet and will attach it safely to WP config when activated. Let's name the menu bucket as exploring startup. The bucket is like the folder where the files will be saved. And this is the menu secret and the menu key and the menu domain. This is my own storage provider. And again, if you go back to my website here to resources blog, you will find this guide full guide on setting up menu on wordpress so you can see step by step here how to configure menu how even to set up and get the keys everything step by step on your own self-hosted server then connect with wordpress anyway let's go back here activate the snippet and now if you go back to media offloader and select menu you will see we have credentials set up. Let's test connection. Oops, we got connection failed. Maybe we need to create the bucket first. So I will open my S3 storage on Minio. Login. Let's create a new bucket. Create bucket. And now let's set it to public access set. Let's go back and try now recheck and perfect it's connected so you need to create the bucket first whether on mini or any s3 provider and what i do here usually is retain local files so just in case something happened with my storage i have a backup of my files locally on wordpress now save changes and now let's see this if i go to media add media file and i will select and upload any image like this one you will see copy url open the browser tab you will see now it's on my s3 storage inside my bucket and not on my wordpress website so now it loads from my external storage to reduce traffic and load on my website now that your website is fast it's time to enable this hidden feature in WordPress that I didn't find anyone on YouTube talking about and allows you to increase your income directly from WordPress. Check out this video. I explain it in detail and it's free. And don't forget, if you learned something new today, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.